Welcome to Mike's Beer Channel. It's actually a little brighter than normal because it's daylight. We don't normally do this in the daytime. So, we're going to try a beer today. Now, we did a vanilla porter a couple videos back. Yep. I don't remember when. So, this is Leaning Kugel. Leaning Kugel. Kugel is a small brewery in Mil Milwaukee that became part of Miller Brewing. That, of course became part of SAB Miller, and actually is now part of Molson Coors because they had to sell everything when Anheuser-Busch InBev bought over everybody. This is the most reading that he does, is the history of beers. Snowdrift Valley Porter. The ro a robust porter aged on real vanilla. We're at 6% mm -hmm. alcohol, which Lean & Kugel, most of Lean & Kugel I'm familiar with is a Shandy, which is a lower alcohol, fruity, citrusy type beverage yeah. Not my thing. so and everybody knows I use the wrong size glasses for the wrong beers I don't care is Snowdrift Valley like a real place maybe it's where the Plank Road Brewery is oh I may have to look that up while you pour that's very caramely not as dark as a I mean it's dark but it's not as dark as most porters I've drank even them out so I don't get accused of favoring myself with more beer. Okay. I don't know uh, what you're talking about. Yeah, six percent. Most leaning cool goes in the uh, four or lower range, actually. They're in. So we're gonna take a smell. And this is where I tell you I'm, I can't smell. I think my nose is Southern finished. California's largest and oldest snow tubing park. Yeah, I don't know. Snow, think snow you know. tubing park. It doesn't say Valley, though. I'm not sure. The company from Milwaukee. Went there, Milwaukee. Yeah, Jacob Ling. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. So it's just it called Snowdrift, like a generic snowdrift. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I don't know where Chippewa Falls is. Where'd you get Valley from? It doesn't even say Valley. Oh, it's Snowdrift Vanilla Porter. Good lord. <laughs> Now, I'm sorry. Unlike the other one, I think this you taste vanilla right away, and there's enough vanilla. Oh, but it's a little more bitter. bitter. This is a little more bitter. It's got a little bit of after taste. Bitter. After bitter. It's bitter after. After bitter. Hmm. I think it has more vanilla than the last vanilla porter we drank, which I don't remember what it, who that was from. I don't, I don't think it's as heavy. I have my book in front of me, which is a problem. I'll have to get that for the next video. So it's not, yeah, it's not as he it's not as heavy as most it's porters. It's lighter, but it's more bitter. But more vanilla. Like most porters, I could probably drink maybe one or two. This I could see drinking a couple, a few. Maybe a watching. Few. Watching the Olympics. The Olympics. The Winter Olympics. <laughs> oh, because it's snowdrift. It's a snowdrift, and they probably only have it out in winter. Yeah. Leaning Kugel is all about their special beers. I don't know if they actually make a regular beer. So. So, hey, what's your you... favorite Olympic sport that you would drink a beer with? Go ahead and comment that and let Mike know. Curling. That's my favorite Winter Olympic sport. Because you could do that while drinking beer. I'd like to see a bobsled while drinking beer or ski. I wonder if anybody else says that. Curly. I don't know. But I'm going to say it, it's tasty. It's not the best porter I've ever had. The vanilla? Yeah. I, I'm not sure they got rare vanilla beans from wherever vanilla comes from and soaked them in the, uh, the vat that they held the beer in. But there's some type of vanilla in here. It doesn't taste vague. Right. Mm -hmm. But like I said, from what I know about vanilla, they probably didn't soak it with real vanilla beans. But yeah, it's pretty tasty. Probably some type of extract. Which is still real vanilla. Uh, just extracted with... But uh, I, I would give this a thumbs up. I like it. If not, I mean, I'm not going to purposely seek it out next time I go to the store or... Go to my favorite bar and say, hey, I need a Leaning Kugel's Snowdrift Vanilla Porter. 
But if it were on draft at like Christmas Town at Bush Gardens, I would I wouldn't turn it down either. No, I'd definitely drink it again. 